Now, something very funny. Um, as you guys are aware, I'm a big fan of the LA comedy scene or the yeah the LA comedy scene podcast. Um, of course, I've got a few favorites, and one of them is Your Mum's House with uh, Christina P and Tom Segura. Um, it's a little bit of an acquired taste, the podcast itself, right? They do kind of spend most of their time trying to gross each other out. They're a husband and wife duo. Um, they're either trying to gross each other out or they're trying to make um, the people, the guys in the production team, um, giggle in the background. And it's always a bit of fun. Um, it's probably not the best thing to watch before you eat <laughs> or before you go to sleep. I've got to be honest, but it's hilarious and one of the segments i love the most is um this weird sort of bit they have going on where basically christina p is convinced that her husband tom segura is a closeted serial killer right because he seems to um revel um or delight in the pain and the suffering of others especially when they're suffering you know a very serious especially when they're when they're on the end of a very serious injury or accident of some of some kind right and there's this kind of famous one of i think this asian dude look oh yeah look like look who die look who yeah he's sort of like in a garage somewhere fixing a car and i guess the dude who's in the gar who's in the car parking the car into the garage accidentally takes his hand off the brake or whatever it may be and he rams the um the asian mechanic dude into the wall and sort of pins him back with the car sort of ramming into his leg and he's screaming oh, yeah, in his Asian accent and you know of course Tom would cry I think the first time I saw it, I cried with laughter too right first a bit of shock obviously because I've got to pretend like I'm you know like I'm woke but for the most part I was laughing my ass off as well so there's loads of those type of videos it was a really cool one that I saw the cool, cool guy club but this is a cool girl club um where this um rather large lady decides to take a running jump off the side of a cliff somewhere heading into some ocean into some water and she just about clears the you know the sort of the edge bit where she should have, she would have basically broken a few bones of body which she probably ended up breaking because she landed she didn't land the best in the war or two there's been a few right obviously fed smokers a flipping legend um loads of people on there but um Tom Segura himself, I guess maybe this is maybe a cosmic retribution, a karmic retribution in some regards. He got himself into a bit of an accident because he decided to um, film a segment or to do some funny, comp I don't know what it was even filmed for. There was something going on with, between Tom and Burt Kreischer where they decided to you know partake in these very sore sports. I think they did tennis and a few other things. And you know they've got this idea that they're very sport, they're very kind of active people, even though they're both incredibly overweight, um, probably uh but more so than tom and they had this genius idea that they would make sense for them to go and play basketball <laughs> and um, it ended very poorly for tom Tigura. so much so he broke the entire left hand side of his body and now he is um from what i've heard so far he's now addicted to antidepressants <laughs> no i'm joking but no it wasn't a fun it wasn't a fun accident um, again karmic retribution i'm not too sure but this is the video of tom basically explaining his injury and it's flipping brutal 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 um let's play a bit of it now come on go and he goes you're gonna have to dig deep on this one he goes you're gonna have to reach for that inner larry johnson <laughs> And I felt an adrenaline rush. I should have almost like calmed down before I, I tried. I've heard lifters talk about it too. You know, if they go like, you get too hyped for a big lift, they're like, you can get too, too hyped up. So I remember being hyped up. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just gonna jump and see what happens. <laughs> Oh my god, right? And if you're not if you're not watching this, um if you're listening to this and not watching the video, Tom Tagore decides to again I don't play basketball, I'm from the UK, we play football, but for the most part I guess he's trying to lay up or trying to do that thing where you sort of like you throw the basketball in the air and you sort of like let it sort of fall into the hoop instead of kind of, you know, um whatever that move is called. And as he's doing it, again, I've never seen someone fall over this way. This is maybe another example of um a real clear indication of when somebody is athletic or not by via how they run right i'm a big stickler for people's running form because i guess because i run a lot myself but you can quickly tell when somebody doesn't play sports by the way they run and i guess maybe just tom's run up alone right towards the net um should have told us everything we need to know about how successful this would go and of course his smile here is classic but look <laughs> Just a running, because I've never actually seen anybody. Like, I don't know how he was able 
to fall backwards from that position. Because essentially, if you're listening to this podcast, he's heading up to the hoop, running up to the hoop, right? And the idea is to sort of jump and, you know, as high as you can with the ball in your hand and then release in the hope that it kind of falls into the hoop. You'd imagine the, the thing that you'd probably end up doing is maybe fall into your side or fall into your face because you're obviously reaching up that way you don't think you're ever going to fall backwards, right? Because the, the hoop is in front of you. Maybe if the hoop was behind you and you were trying to run backwards or something and then throw it in, that would make more sense. But I don't even know how he ends up in that position. Then, of course, when he ends up in that position, the key is to brace, right? Or to kind of allow yourself to fall on your hip, to fall on your bum, maybe your back, maybe your side. But there's a way that you fall when you're used to playing sports a lot that will prevent you from having an injury such as this. Because when I saw the picture, I didn't actually even get how his arm ended up in this weird, because he ends up in this weird, if you ever watch Family Guy, whenever the, whenever the main guy in Family Guy falls over, I think the illustrators did a really good job to illustrate his, and, you know, he's really fucked up his body by always getting his arm to be like in the opposite direction of where it should be. And somehow that's what Tom's arm ends up, right? His form ends up in some weird position. <laughs> and it doesn't make any sense. But it's just such an epic example of like um, why some people should probably concentrate on making sure you lose weight. Because I think this is probably most of the reason why he got injured, right? His body just couldn't, his knees and his legs couldn't support what he was trying to do. Um, especially with the weight that he's carrying up above. And it just gave way. And it's also funny as well as a fan of the podcast and a fan of Sober October and Joe Rogan, these kind of people, to think that Joe Rogan would take so much pride out of crushing these guys when, you know, Ari is what, in some Central American country doing yoga and taking copious amounts of drugs. Bert Kreish is, you know, permanently drunk and his face is swollen from all the beers that he drinks every single day and box wine he drinks when he's running on a treadmill or running. And then Tom Segura spends most of his time driving supercars, right? Like, <laughs> and telling dick jokes and fucking around on TikTok of his wife on a podcast. He has no business, no business trying to run up to a hoop and play basketball in any capacity. Now imagine he makes, he injures himself like this with no one around, right? He's not playing two on two, three on three, whatever. He's just essentially trying to illustrate a skill or display his range of basketball skills, whatever it may be. And this is where he ends up. You okay? You okay? And I have to be honest, at the time when, you know, Christina was acting really melodramatic and the whole production team, I was a bit like, hey, this is ridiculous, right? He just fell over and it happens in sports, relax. But having seen the fall, and knowing that he's a dad and a comic and a middle-aged man, this is not fun. This doesn't seem like the most <laughs> amazing, especially considering they were trying to film a bit of a bit to put online and it kind of ends up like this. <laughs> I can imagine it's probably the worst time he's probably had in a while, especially to end the year, right? They've had a pretty decent year, I think, in your mum's house, right? They probably made a way, they probably made a way through during this dark time, you know, they've done a few live shows, uh, you know, the studio's all nice and set up. Um, they've, they've figured things out, right? In a very, you know, uh, I guess, um, sketchy time during their individual comedy careers, stand-up careers, sorry. So to end the year like this is just, oof, brutal. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. His arm. His arm. <laughs> no, I've never seen anyone go for a dunk and that that happened. That really kind of freaked me out. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, man. I've never, like, again, I don't play basketball. I'm from the UK, we play football. But I swear on my mother's life, if you would have told me, if you would have showed me the injury and then told me, and then tried to get me to figure out how that happened, I would have never guessed it was him just trying to go for a layup or whatever it's called. I would have never guessed it. I would have just assumed it was, I don't know, 
um, you know, when you sometimes, you know, when you're playing basketball, someone maybe pushes you to on the, onto the wall and maybe you fell backwards and sort of fell over that way or I don't know, any other new, every other, any other numerous ways he could have done it, but I would have never assumed it would have been an uncontested layup that he decided that he kind of fell over and ended up breaking half of his body. I just, I knew something was wrong immediately. It's, it's so fast though. Ah, and just going back and then <laughs> landing and just being like, oh, fuck. Because this trumps this immediately. Hey, look, we all just have to this, uh, but let's get our max on. <laughs> yeah. Put you back here on your spine. Do you have any pain? No. <laughs> down your back. No, I remember that the paramedic kept saying, why are you playing with these kids, man? <laughs> like, you old fuck. This is this. These are the people that Joe Rogan kind of brags about beating in Sober October, right? Dudes that can't play basketball for an hour or two without getting put in the back of an ambulance. Like, oh my god! Hi guys, thanks for all the uh, well wishes. Um, I broke my arm and snapped my uh, oh. tendon. And um, I'm having both repaired. It was uh, during a uh, slam dunk competition, which is totally reasonable for a 41 year old. Oh, during my. Do you see the x ray? Did you see the x ray? A uh, slam dunk competition. Oh my god. He legitimately. Because usually you see people. You see people. Um, break you see people break something and it's usually like a crack a fracture or a split but you never see like the bone just like away from the other bone that's what essentially he has in his arm oh my god that is so wild that is so gnarly that's just again another illustration of just poor physical conditioning right um i think he was bragging before about doing powerlifting, but you know I don't think the powerlifting continued for that long because those bones are brittle as fuck, innit? One little fall like that and they completely snapped. Which is totally reasonable for a 41 year old. God almighty. Uh, 238 pound male adult to do. Who now he's having to relearn how to walk. He's probably on a whole host of prescription drugs. Plays a lot of that. And I'm guessing, you know, with two young kids at home and Christina P, she's probably loving this. Isn't it? Basketball. <laughs> I don't think it, I, I'm not freaked out to play basketball again. I would definitely be like, I'm good. If somebody was like, do you want to do a dunk on this nine foot hoop? I'd be like, mm -mm, no, nah, I'm good. All right. Wow. Wow. And again, somehow Burt Crasher gets away scot-free. How does that happen? Can someone explain how Burt Crasher is probably the most unhealthiest of all, of all comedians ends up not having any injury, getting away completely scot-free from the situation once again? It must be that Mickey Mantle gene, and it? it must be that Mickey Mantle gene. But again, man, um, I don't know. Get well soon to Tom Segura, I guess. Um, what a freak of an injury. Again, I was one of the doubters thinking, oh, they're moaning about nothing. It's not that big of a deal. We just fell over playing basketball. But that looked like a brutal, 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 brutal injury. Um, it's <laughs> something that you don't wish on your worst enemy. But Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. God damn it. Um, I heard the the New Year's Eve podcast suffered somewhat as well because of his, um, you know, he's just going through it, I guess. And if you're, you're, you're kind of, he's immobile. He's probably not able to do a lot of things himself. He needs a lot of assistance. He's probably on a whole host of meds. That's probably, uh, you know, not helping with his mood. And um, from what I saw on the sub, everyone was saying, you know, Tom wasn't in the best mood when it was on the New Year's Eve live stream that he put together. How he even turned up for that, I don't know. He probably should be spending all of his time trying to get better. And trying to recover as best as he could but you know i guess when you sell tickets you kind of feel obliged to honor the fans and do what you can to keep them happy but god almighty man that fall was brutal uh brutal fall funny to see though again considering how much time he spends laughing at others pain it is the nature of the game it goes around comes around i guess in, in some regards what goes around comes around